Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Now I will show drift or displacement check for the structure as per ACI and AC code. Drift check is an important check prior to finalize the design. If drift check shows that the structure is not having allowable drift or displacement, then we have to change the column, column or beam oriented column orientation and strengthen the structural members in size or in concrete strength as per engineering judgments let's see for wind load we will see here allowable drift for wind load as per AC02 WX W1 when the wind direction is in X direction in this 2.2 nodes we will check the drift or uh, displacement at the top top floor one point five two two point two two seven. So we'll put this value one point five two two point two two seven. Along the when wind direction is in Y direction then 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 we will check for, for these two nodes here it is 2.08 2.08 point zero eight there one point eight five one point eight five so this this is the values we have got from e tabs building height is here one zero three one zero three feet into twelve it is coming into inch and uh, this both building height is 103 feet it is we have to calculate it in inch so this is the building height allowable drift limit here we have considered h by 300 allowable drift limit varies from h by 300 to h by 600 according to return period of uh, wind and uh, cladding materials so allowable wind uh, wind drift is is by 300 is equal to 4 4.12 inch now we can see these four values four drift values are within uh, less than this value so this is okay for seismic drift as per aci and ac we will see here Qx one point four one is to one point five seven is to three. 1.1.57 is maximum so 1.57 for uh, node 1 and uh, we'll check for step 2 also again 1.34 so 1.57 is larger value and the top floor 1.57 and for the wind direction, uh, earthquake direction in earthquake direction in y direction, 
y axis this 1.65 1.06 let the check the steps 1.06 1.65 is the maximum value we will put here 1.65 now put the other values the occupancy category it is uh, we have considered this one in this building is in occupancy category 3 so the value category coefficient will be 0 0.02 deflection amplification factor cd 4.5 uh, for IMRF as we have considered this is an IFRF IMRF so for IMRF the value will be 8 response modification factor the building height is 103 feet so as per ACA code allowable uh, uh, seismic drift is 4.6 inch ACA code 5.5 inch minimum allowable is 4.6 for in ACA code it is coming and our ETAPS value is 1.57 and 1.65 both are uh, within the allowable limit so it is okay so in this way we can check uh, wind and uh, seismic drift as well as per ACI and AC code uh, story drifts is an uh, another term which is related to one story to another story it's a uh, two adjacent stories a drift ratio coming displacement of the second floor uh, uh, upper floor and displacement displacement in the lower floor difference between them divided by clear height of the story here to here so in this in e tabs this displacement drift ratio is showing as drift check here uh, result displacement story drifts show table So this is the start top story. Story will take eight F and seven F. So eight F. This is the load combination. We will change it to Q X or Q Y. We can check in this way this is the drift ratio the yeah, here i have shown how it is coming displacement in the upper floor and displacement in the lower floor we have to differentiate between them and then we will divide by clear height between these uh, two stories we will get the drift ratio this drift ratio is coming here uh, in is yes, this value in etabs we can check uh, this in the graph also display show response plot maximum history displacement here we can see all the stories here lot of uh, thing, a lot of uh, parameter you can see you can check the street drifts, displacements and other things here. Story shares. So from this graph you can see and you can explore the results from ETAPS. And uh, main, main, main objective of this tutorial is to show how to check the story drifts so in this way we can check the story drifts 